Because for me, the core benefit of understanding this understanding is the liberation that happens in your life and in your mental space and in your feeling. Um, so I'm just going to kick us off with that. And Robin, like, what have you seen about this liberation? Yeah, uh, sometimes I, 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 I call it like psychological freedom. Mm. And it's, it's this initial, I mean, initially, it's just this big release that we get even a bit lost because it's like it's so much space and freedom that we're not used to because like all this thinking dropped and all, all these things dropped away and you're like just in the space yeah this free space with like and and we're so used to just fill it up with stuff all the time i mean until that point where we're not used to just the space and being with the space and the freedom and this so, so for me, it's like you get unshackled from your thoughts kind mm. of thing. Yeah. So you, you just get into to this, to this freedom. And it's, it's kind of like, I mean, uh, I, I broke my arm when I was like 11 years old or something. And it really hurts. And I had to use a cast and everything. And it kind of, it, it broke and it went a bit. I mean, the guy had to put it back into place and everything. So it was kind of a pain and every once in a while until today um i i sometimes feel a bit of pain on that arm and i'm reminded of the mm. like obviously in a much smaller scale of the of the pain that i i had when i when i broke the arm and for me this liberation is 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 kind of you go around life without the pain you know, I mean, it's, it's as if you had that pain all the time and then you're suddenly free of it, which is actually our normal state. Uh, mm -hmm. Our normal state is to be free of the pain, is to be free of stress, is to be free of pressure, is to be at peace, is to be just in our well-being. That's our natural state. But we're so used to this constant pain that we think the pain is the normal. And that the the no pain is 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 like what we sh we should thrive to achieve mm. instead of relaxing into. Yeah? So every once in a while I'll, I'll have this pain, and it reminds me, oh, I used to have this terrible pain when I broke my arm and it was off. But I don't go around when I'm not feeling the pain. I don't go around saying, oh, it's so good that I don't have that pain. Yeah. <laughs> oh my life is so good because i'm free of the pain and it's the thing thing it's the same thing nowadays with the pressure and the stress and the and and this this freedom and liberation i don't go around every day it's like oh i'm so happy that i'm liberated and i'm free <laughs> it's just that's the natural state i mean when i'm reminded of a bit of pressure or stress or whatever then i'll go and say like Oh, thank God I don't have that anymore all the time, you know? But it but but it's so that's why it's it's something that it, it's it's really interesting because and I was talking to this with with with, with the guy yesterday uh, specifically and 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 I said it's like it it's not a big deal but it but it's the biggest deal ever, mm -hmm. you know? It, it it, it's not a big deal because it isn't like um, because of that. It's, you're not like parading all the time, like oh, I'm free, I'm free, and like doing all that. You're just actually free. Actually, I do. <laughs> yeah, like, I was gonna say, Leah does every single day. Like she tells me all the time. I'm so happy that I came to this understanding. I can't tell you how free I feel. She's really? Parade yeah. every day, Robin. Be because probably it's I'm in on this little I know I, I totally know what you're talking about the notch of oh it used to be like that and yeah. all, every time I, I got the notch I'm like yes <laughs> I don't have to and yeah. yeah it's so freeing that you don't you're even free from thinking of that you know you're even free of 
thinking that you're free <laughs> in a kind of way. And it's so, so, so yeah, I think, I think that that would be more or less my, my description of, of freedom. So I think if I were out there in the world listening to this video or live stream right now, I'd be like, okay, so, <laughs> so where does that liberation come from? Like, like, how do you, <laughs> you know? Like that yeah, question, the big question is like, that question how? All the time, yeah. Like, what is it? Like, how do you get it? <laughs> yeah, you're actually free from asking the question. <laughs> <laughs> That's the true, the, the true liberation is when you're free from even asking the how. <laughs> mm. So, I mean, and, and this is where it gets um, really confusing for people because, and, and I'll even talk a bit about how I, I see my business nowadays in, in these terms, because before I would go up against like, you know, methods and strategies and you know how to's and and like techniques and whatever you know it's like ah oh, the technique for creativity the method for performance the the <laughs> strategy for freedom and yeah. and whatever and and okay i mean but but that's all happening in a software level okay that's all what's being processed so when I say a software level, it's like you have your computer and you have like softwares running on the computer and you can like just um, buy newer and better software, which, which is better and does more stuff and everything. But to run the, pro the, the software, you have to have a processor. Yeah? You have to have like the actual CPU, the, the, the processing unit. And that's where our mind comes in because our mind is what's processing all these strategies, these methods, these techniques. There, our mind is what is actually um, the power behind all, all these softwares, like all these things that go on in our mind. So ideally, if you have a computer, you have to upgrade it and buy a, like a newer version that can run the, the newer software, yeah? Because if you have an old computer, it won't run the newer software. But we can't upgrade our mind because our mind is already infinite potential. So it's more like, how do we access this infinite potential? How do we access this? And how do we increase the processing power yeah, of this infinite potential? Yeah? And the way I see it is we increase the processing power by actually decreasing the other, by, by decreasing useless processing mm. that's going on. Mm. So it's, it's, we start seeing the, the uselessness of so many things that are going on in our mind. Yeah. But we have to see the uselessness for ourselves. There, there's no technique that's going to show us the uselessness. Because if I think it's useful, I'm going to continue doing it, like subconsciously, mm -hmm. without, without like consciously thinking about it. Yeah. So it, it, it's an exploration of ourselves, or of our inner selves with ourselves, and only we can do it. Um, it it's like, like watching someone ride a bike. I mean, you, you won't learn how to ride a bike by watching like someone ride a bike. Yeah. Yeah. You won't learn you won't get fit by watching someone run and, and, and doing fitness exercise. <laughs> yeah? You won't get healthy by seeing someone cool. eating a salad. Yeah. Yeah, that would be great. I would, I would <laughs> love, that would make my, my, my life so easy because it's something people have to, ha, they have to realize for themselves, this, this freedom. And, and how does this realization in, in my own interpretation occurs? We, we stop and we explore how true are the stories that are going on in our mind? Like, mm -hmm. Where are they actually coming from? What, what's actually going on inside? But from an internal perspective, not someone telling us, but us seeing that for ourselves and exploring it for ourselves and having insight and realizing mm -hmm. and, and, and being 
100% total and completely honest with ourselves as well. Yeah. It's like we, we can't trick ourselves into freedom, you know? Yeah. We can't trick ourselves into release. We can't convince ourselves that something is important because if we're trying to do the convincing, it's because for us, it's still true that that's important. Mm -hmm. We, we can't convince ourselves from an attaching to things because if we're trying to unattach, we're attached to, to the idea of an attachment. Mm. So the, and, and, and here's something beautiful that I, I, I heard re recently is kind of, we already know truth. Mm -hmm. It's already, it, it, I mean, we, we'll never access it, but we kind of have this, this general direction that we know truth because like, because when we hear it, we, we know it. And, and so there's something inside that already knows it. I mean, it has to know it to say that it's true or not, you know? Mm -hmm. There has to be something that, that knows it before we hear it, to judge it and say yes and no. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so once we start seeing this and, and, and aligning ourselves with this and, 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 and seeing all these useless processes that are going on. And we start like just clearly seeing through them and, and the uselessness without, I mean, doing anything consciously, but just by understanding these things go dropping away and this whole processing power just goes increasing and we go, accessing this infinite potential more and more and and the freedom yeah the freedom from the have to's the shoulds the right way mm. 